Hello and welcome to Final Fluid. In this video, we will discuss what sparse grid fluid solver means and why it's so cool and the better solution for GPU fluid solvers. Before we start, let's have a look at the scene. We have our simulation domain, that's the box around our chair and torus down there. And this is where our fluid simulation should happen. We will concentrate only on sparsity these set of parameters we have here on the right side. So we are not going into any other controls right now. Let me just bring up the preview window so that we can see what we have here. So we can see we have these flames coming up, um, pretty low res flames for now, but I can already see, okay, the smoke is going into a dark black background. Let me just fix that right now. Um, as you might already know, everything works in real time here. So we can just change our environment or background color. And here we go. Now I would like to draw your attention to the debug solver information we get here, especially the memory and the number of density blocks, as well as the number of velocity blocks. Right now we're pretty comfortable. We are not using all the blocks that would be available with 2.7 gigabytes. So we are totally fine. Let's have a look at the blocks, what's going on. So what we have right now is a regular grid system. So our complete space is filled with voxels. That's how every other solver works right now. They create a regular grid, fill up the memory and all is gone. And now the problem is when we want to increase our re resolution, we want much more detail in our fire so we can do a movie quality effect. So let me just dial down the box size or cell size. And you already see the finer I set the resolution, the nicer my smoke and fire will become. But you can already see now we cannot fill this whole volume anymore because as you can see in the number of density blocks, we are filled up. Memory does not give us more. So now if you're restricted with your GPU memory, and this is always the case, believe me, trust me, you will always run into GPU memory issues. You have lost with any other solver out there on the market right now. So the only solution to overcome this, and it gets even worse, like you see here, if I really want fine detail, my memory is gone and I can't create any useful simulation uh, with these kind of settings right now. So memory would run out faster than I can uh, simulate these flames here. So what can we do with that? So right now I did uh, on purpose set it up so that we waste memory. I'll just turn it down and instantly you see we have a high resolution of fire simulation and it still works with our 2.7 gigabytes and you can see we are not even filling up the voxel the blocks we still have room to increase our resolution because the voxels or blocks are removed recycled only created in areas where there's fire and smoke and that's the huge advantage of a sparse grid system and we can control where and when these blocks are created. One of the most powerful uh, settings is the velocity. This is why I used on purpose the velocity, but we can control it with temperature, for example. I'll just set it to zero. So right now we have no voxels created. We only get the initial voxels and that's it. So when I now start increasing the velocity, we can see it eats up the memory and that's it. We run into a wall. So now what I can do is I can increase the amount, the threshold where we want uh, voxels created with the amount of velocity. So every velocity value that falls within the threshold will create new uh, voxels or delete voxels. So if there's uh, below this threshold, the voxel is removed. And so even with the velocity alone, we can create, recreate this uh, simulation with our 2.7 gigabytes of memory. And as I mentioned before, there is no other solver that can allow you to just use 2.7 gigs and have this kind of detailed simulation.
So that's why you need a sparse fluid grid solver. And this is what Final Fluid is all about. And it all runs and works inside of 3D Studio Max. Let me turn back to temperature because I like to control with temperature. I have, it's more natural for me to control it because even the colder smoke has a temperature there. So I can set it to 0 0.01 and still it will react really fast to removing these voxels. When I increase that, um, it removes the voxels even faster and we save more memory there. So this is the real power of sparse grid fluid solvers. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please play around with the sparsity controls and turn on the show debug uh, option. This tells you exactly what's going on and what our solver is doing. So you can control fuel, velocity and smoke all is under your full control. And even with a small a GPU card, you can create amazing, impressive fire and uh, smoke simulations. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and it helps you trying out Final Fluid.